There are many things that make up the Vancouver recipe, starting with our laid-back lifestyle. Add to that the availability of great local and international ingredients, giving diners a chance to savor unique and awe-inspiring dishes. And of course, we can't forget Vancouver's world-class chefs who take their creativity and serve it up on a plate. But some believe there is one ingredient we may be lacking in our quest to be the perfect food destination. It doesn't have this, the same kind of fine dining service you may find in other places, which is, which is good. I mean, it depends on you know, what kind of level of service. You're talking about Zagat where you, know, you go and sit at a table and there's a stool for your purse. You know, it, it's <laughs> what kind of service? You know, I mean, if you want service that's good, that's prompt, where the service are friendly and knowledgeable, you, you can find that here. You know, there's, on the fine dining scale, in, say, Vancouver or in Canada, especially now, I mean, it was maybe a little bit different 10 or 12 years ago, um, there's just not the money that's being spent, you know, say, if you take London, for instance, I mean, we have, there's a huge lunch business where people come and spend hundreds and thousands of dollars just for lunch, whereas you don't have that here in Vancouver, and, and you know, with all that but money being spent just allows more, you know, high-end restaurants and a little bit more of a, you know, an aggressive food scene. You know, like I understand a lot of people complain about the service in Asian restaurants, but then you do have to realize that um, usually it's more economical to eat in Asian restaurants. I'm not talking about fine, fine dining, you know, those high-end places. Yeah, because <laughs> Oh, they haven't been to some of the places outside of Vancouver then. Oh, I have seen some really, well, I should say not up to par. I couldn't, shouldn't say lousy, but yeah, well, we, we, I think we're really lucky being in Vancouver. You know, like you cannot expect um, a five-star service when you're only paying a two-star price. The beauty of Vancouver may be what brings people to the city. But the food experience has a lot to do with whether people return. So is Vancouver a food destination like New York, Paris, or London? You know what, I mean, you have to understand, Canada is still very much a young country, right? For, in so many different ways. I mean, uh, New York, I mean, you know, come on, New York is, you know, it's New York. I think it's because Vancouver is relatively new. And the food scene, the way, it, the way it's um, evolved, is still new. I mean, th there's no, there's not that rock star kind of superstar chefdom that we see in other places. Most the United States, not so, not so much in Canada, but, you know, in the U.S. Vancouver just has to age. It, it's something that you have to grow into. I don't think it's something that you can invent. It has to be part of the natural growth of the city. Vancouver is still pretty young. And it, it's gonna, it, it just takes time. That's all it does. Despite the growing that Vancouver may still have to do, the world-class chefs who cook up a storm every night in the city say they aren't leaving. They know Vancouver has made its mark on the world's food map, and there isn't a better place to call home. So when I come back to you know, Vancouver, oh, this is my home. Because it's a, I think this city is a good balance. You know, I mean, perfect day like today with the farmer's market here behind me. I mean, there is not a better city in the world. I've traveled the world. Um, I've worked all over this country for uh, the better part of 10 years, and, uh, and it always draws you back. Well, I can tell you that every day I tell myself how lucky it is for me to be a foodie in Vancouver. And after 16 years, I'm just in love with this I love the city. I don't want to go anywhere, even though I have been offered to move to other places and you know people have said well you know let's move down to LA or let's move down to New York and it's not my style. I know if I'm looking for money I go to New York but money is not everything. 
Uh, I mean, this is where I always wanted to end up, and this is kind of where I wanted to make my home. I did live here for a few years before I moved to England, so uh, it's the best place in Canada, in my opinion. So this is where I want to stay, and, and we have amazing products, and it's a beautiful city and all that kind of stuff. So it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, I guess it's easier to, to make yourself a bigger fish in a, in a smaller pond in Vancouver than it is to try to do it in New York or, or London. Plus, it's just a way of life, you know? It's, it's just more comfortable here. I can drive my car to work, <laughs> you know? It, it just feels better here. We are a world-class city. We've, we've got, you know, we've got what it takes to be the world-class city. We are producing great food, producing great wines, and uh, I don't think you have to be a small city only to do this. I mean, the time has come you know, we've had the Olympics. You know, the time has come that we are considered as as Sydney is, or as Cape Town is, or as San Francisco is, or the cities in Portugal are. That's what that that's what needs to be done. The Olympics definitely helped draw attention to the city, but um, people started realizing, hey, this is going to be the next big food culinary uh, attraction, and I think a lot of people know that. Um, we have a lot to offer in terms of variety and in terms of really fresh local ingredients. And, you know, um, I, I get a lot of questions like, oh, I hear you guys have great dim sum. You know, we're really known for our Asian cuisine or uh, certain things. And But then I'm like, hey, you know what? There's more. And so I think uh, people are surprised to find out how much there is when they get here. But the, the foodies definitely know that we're on the map. The way I look at it, John Bishop, Umberto Mengi, um, you know, Michelle Jacob, they were sort of the, the forefathers of, of chefs who had restaurants that really were something other than hotel dining rooms. You know, they really put Vancouver on, on the culinary map and then their apprentices, their sous chefs, Rob Feeney, uh, you know, Pino Posterero, Chio Pinos, of course, with the likes of Tojo, um, you know, the generations keep passing and now there's the next generation of people that worked with Rob Feeney, David Hawksworth that, you know, has produced some sp spectacular chefs. Um, you know, you can really see the lineage over the last really 25 years that's put Vancouver on the map and, and one of the reasons why, A, we're the most beautiful city on the planet, B, we have some of the best products on the planet, and C, we have people that appreciate it. I think it's just a matter of promoting it and getting the word out there. So I think, yeah, do I see us as being that place where people come for the food? Yes. And I think it's up to the chefs and obviously the people of Vancouver to promote that, and I think we do. So I think amongst the chefs, we are confident that we have what it takes to be a world-class food city as such. Uh, we are a culinary destination, there's no question in my mind. Like I said, I'm, I think it's, do I think it's New York? No. Are, do people look at Vancouver the way they look at New York in regards to wanting to come here for the food? I think that's part of our culture now, for sure. I don't think anybody thinks that we are not a food city. I think everybody who's actually traveled abroad will come back and say, Vancouver produces some of the finest foods in the world. You know what? We probably are a great food city. We just have to shut up and stop being so insecure about it. As I said earlier, Asian, South Asian, and, and huge cultures, cultures from, you know. <laughs> it's not better. It's, it's a little bit like having sex. It's not like you're always going to be having great sex. It's, it's as long as you're having it, it's great. Maybe I could just briefly get you to summarize how you ended up being a chef in Vancouver. I moved here. <laughs>